I was competing really seriously as a swimmer by the age of 10, which carried me through to a D1 scholarship at university. After college, I discovered cycling, and in my first season racing, I went from a virtual beginner to a pro contract by the end of the year. Competition is something that's always been a core part of my life, but it's often the case that women don't necessarily get great social feedback for being competitive. I'm wanting to race and push the people around me, and the people around me are my friends. And so there's this push and pull there of, well, I want to beat my friends, but I don't want to be a mean person. I'm always performing my best when someone else is pushing me. We are allies in our quest for becoming better, and so in the end, competition is really a form of cooperation. When you show up with your A game, and you show no mercy, it's actually the greatest favor that you can do for your competitor or for your friend or whoever it is. Going fast is fun. It's simple. There's a purity of speed that's really uncomplicated. But when you really think about all of the forces that are involved in a bicycle that's riding and balancing on two skinny tires, there's this incredible complex algorithm of balance that's happening in a really dynamic way. And the beautiful thing is that our brains can manage that in a way that you don't even necessarily have to think through all of what's actually happening. You can just connect with the bike in a way that's really instinctual. You don't want to be thinking about every detail. All you want to be thinking about is the line you want to take and that feeling that you're going to get as you just whip through that corner. Road racing is a highly structured environment. It's amazing to be able to come out here and ride these roads where I don't actually have any idea where I'm going that day and I don't actually know even necessarily where I'm going to end up. It's not always about the finish line.